So now that we've gotten a more developer friendly IDE, let's also get a more developer friendly um, server set up because right now I have to restart my server every time I do a change, right? Restart, restart, restart. We can do that better. We can use something called Notemon. So this is another NPN project that somebody built for us to make it simple for us to actually restart the server automatically. And we'll just run an NPM install here again. Um, and this time it'll be a global setup and Notemon. So I'll just let this run. Now the dash G means that it's going to be global for all the application that I'm using on this computer. Notemon will now be available. And the Notemon is going to do it so that whenever I press save inside my editor, doesn't matter what editor you're doing, somebody will listen to the file system and say, oops, somebody changed something in the server.js. Let's just automatically restart the server for this guy. That's what Notemon does for me. So it automatically restarts the server every time I press save from now on. So from now on you don't have to do control CC to stop the server and run the server again and again and again. Now Notepon will handle it for us. And how do we use it? Well if you read the documentation here, if I scroll down, it says write Notepon and then the name of your application. Let's try that. So I should be able to write Notepon server instead of node server. Notepon. And I guess it's for node monitor. It didn't work. Okay, so let's write Notepon server JS. There we go. It says now I'm listening for the Notemon server JS. So let's try and make a change and see what happens. So instead of saying um, hello world 22, I'm going to write hello world do something like this. And notice as soon as I did it, restart node server. So let's try and just use Postman to do the default get like we did earlier. Here we go. I'll do a get. It says dhdddd. So let's try and change this back to world 22, save, and notice I don't restart my server, I didn't do anything, but if I do the get again, it's actually back to 22. So now you have an automatic restart of your server, and since the REST API will use later, automatically adds Notemon, you know what Notemon is now. See you in the next lesson.